Welcome back to another Spirit Island video. In this video, we're going to be covering Volcanoes combos. So, the way Volcano comes with the team is via this card here, and that's Exaltation of Molten Stone. This card says that you could split one energy per fire you have between yourself and target spirit as evenly as possible. Then that spirit gets plus one range from powers that originate from mountains. What this is, is this allows Volcano to give energy out, and for a lot of spirits, they only need one extra energy to really um, unlock. And um, and Exaltation is, I mean, it does exactly that. Usually you're going to be playing this on turn two or turn three, giving that player between one and two energy, depending on how generous you are and um, what build you would like to pursue with Volcano. Then around turn four-ish five, you then play this card again, giving out that support. Now, over here, I've listed a couple spirits that actually can utilize Molten Stone quite well. And first, we have Keeper. It's not so much that the energy is really powerful, but it's really that plus one range. If Keeper can get a centralized mount, uh, presence in a mountain land, this left innate can now have plus one range from it, and that can be very powerful. In addition, I mean, Volcano isn't starved for power cards, but Keeper can give Volcano um, a power card via Boon of the Growing Power. Eyes. The typical build I do with eyes is rushing down bottom track. And if you do that, you're going to be starved for energy. So Molten Stone is a great way to um, to help out eyes. In addition, eyes can also take your Dahan. Because a lot of the time, you're going to be killing your Dahan with that special rule and that left innate. And your um, bombardment card. And, I mean, it works out. The more Dahan that eyes can have, the stronger eyes can have. Or the stronger turns eyes can have. Outside of that, Eyes really can't support Volcano. Um, Boon of Watchful Guarding could work, but a lot of times Volcano's lands where they have presence are quite safe. Now we have the Mud Otter. And once again, Mud is going to have issues with gaining energy, and Volcano is going to give them Exaltation of Molten Stone. In exchange, Mud can give Volcano more power cards via Exaltation of Tangled Growth. Remember, Volcano is going to have an absurd amount of energy, and... Um, Tangled Growth costs energy to gain cards, so you can gain cards easier that way. Basically, when you combine these two spirits, you're going to reduce the variance of by, or of missing on those um, those powerful cards. Or in other words, if, if I can speak correctly, um, you're going to increase the probability of um, getting those overpowered cards because you're you're having more drafts. Finder. This combo is a little bit different, and it doesn't really revolve so much around Exaltation. Really, your Volcano Land is a land where free damage is going to happen, and Finder is able to shuttle invaders very easily across the board. So this combo revolves around Finder dumping everything in your Volcano Land, allowing you to easily kill it. Um, I haven't seen much of this combo, so I'm not going to praise it. I've, I've heard it's very good. But until I actually see it, I can't really emphasize it. Um, in theory, it seems strong, but we'll have to see it play out. Green here. Once again, green can rush that bottom track. And Exaltation of Molten Stone allows green to get more energy. And then green can give Gift of Proliferation, allowing Volcano to easily access further down its track, allowing itself to hit three, four plays a lot earlier. I already briefly touched up with, uh, or I touched up about this topic with Volcano earlier when I mentioned about Finder, but um, Volcano is going to have that one land on the board that um, it's very easy to just completely destroy invaders in that land, and that's that mountain where the Volcano presence are. So if you have an invade, or if you have a, a spirit that can toss invaders into that land very easily, like a high control spirit like River, Whirlwind, stuff like that. Um, those are also going to combo quite well with Volcano. Also, Volcano can draft a lot of those off-element support cards very easily in the minor deck. And because Volcano gets so many drafts, you're likely going able you're, you're going to be able to find those cards so that you can support the team. So another way that Volcano supports the team is just you know digging through the deck and finding all of the goodies. Um, Volcano can also create pockets quite easily 
with um, Pyroclastic Bombardment, your Left Innate, and also Reign of Ash being able to kill those early talents before things get out of control. Once again, the spirits down here, I just threw down spirits that, to me, combo very well with Volcano. Um, there are plenty of other great spirits up here. I know Fangs loves Volcano as well. You can combo uh, Terrifying Chase, and then Volcano is going to give Fangs Molten Stone. But um, uh, Or you have Wildfire with Presence in a Mountain, and then you give Molten Stone, and now you get that plus one range from the Mountain. So there's there's plenty of interesting combos between these two spirits, uh, or, or Volcano with the spirits up here. So... All because it's not down here doesn't mean it's not a good combo. It's just a combo that I um, am valuing a little bit less at this time. So if you like this video, like, subscribe for more content. I'll see you guys in the next video.